In the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, there are an abundance of unique and specialized weapons that the player can use. These weapons can be acquired via adventuring, looting, or as rewards. Today's discussion will be all about the distinctive, one-off series of arms that the player can use for combat. The list will include leveled weapons, which are those that see their stats changed depending on the level the player is when they're acquired. It will also include Daedric and Ancient Artifactual weapons, as well as lower tier unique ones. What you won't see on this list is reoccurring and respawning variations of arms found around Cyrodiil. Those will be gone over in a separate video. Loot and combat items from the official plugins and DLCs will not be gone over in this either. The specialized arms featured today are found in the base game only. There are so many items to cover that the format will be a brief description of how to acquire them, their stats such as durability, value, and enchantments, as well as a quick demonstration of how it's yielded in combat. While most weapons have a value, not all can be sold as some are quest items. All weapons will have their maximum stats detailed which come from a range of being level 15 to 30 plus. If there are any items missed, please comment below, and without further ado, Let's begin the list. Blackwater Blade The Blackwater Blade can be acquired by either looting Selene or convincing her to surrender during the quest An Unexpected Voyage. It is a one-handed longsword, has a durability of 725, a value of 6670 gold, deals 24 base damage, and has the enchantment of Absorb Fatigue 20 points for 12 seconds. Blade of Woe the Blade of Woe is given to the player during the Dark Brotherhood questline and gets maxed out at the end of it. It is a one-handed dagger, has a durability of 400, a value of 13,511 gold, deals 7 damage, and has the enchantments of Demoralize up to level 10, and damage Willpower, Health, and Magicka for 35 points. Chillrend Chillrend can be acquired by completing the quest The Killing Fields and is a reward if both sons survive. It is a one-handed short sword, has a durability of 615, a value of 4584 gold, and deals 21 damage. It has the enchantments of frost damage for 20 points and weakness to frost for 35% over 20 seconds. Debaser Debaser can be acquired by looting Agramir in the Trentius family mausoleum in the quest Unfriendly Competition. It is a one-handed short sword, has a durability of 705, a value of 6,028 gold, deals 24 damage, and it has the enchantments of Drain Willpower and Endurance for 30 points for 20 seconds. Mishahi's Cleaver Mishahi's Cleaver can be acquired by looting one of the cursed undead blades in St. Arthur during Blood of the Divines. It is a two-handed Akaviri blade, has a durability of 240, a value of 1417 gold, deals 24 base damage, and it also has an enchantment of Disintegrate Armor for 80 points. Northwind Northwind can also be acquired by looting another undead cursed blade in St. Arthur during the Blood of the Divines quest. It is a one-handed Akaviri blade, has a durability of 240, a value of 1,393 gold, deals 15 damage, and has the enchantment of frost damage for 20 points. Red Wave Red Wave can be acquired by completing the quest The Ghost Ship of Anvil. It is a one-handed cutlass that has a durability of 850, a value of 246 gold, deals 11 damage, and has the enchantment of Drain Health for 15 points for 6 seconds. Sufferthorn Sufferthorn can be acquired as a reward during the Dark Brotherhood quest of Accidents Happen. It comes in the form of a bonus. It is a one-handed dagger that has a durability of 705, a value of 3,277, deals 9 damage, and has enchantments of damage health for 35 points, and drain strength for 20 points. Thornblade Thornblade can be acquired as a reward for completing the quest The Wayward Knight. It is a unique one-handed blade, has a durability of 705, a value of 6,760 gold, deals 24 damage, and has the enchantment of Disintegrate Armor for 120 points. Wit Splinter Wit Splinter can be acquired by looting Faustina Cartia during the quest A Siren's Deception. 
It is a one-handed dagger, has a durability of 532, a value of 3895 gold, deals 19 damage, and has the enchantments of Damage Magicka for 35 points, and Drain Intelligence for 10 points for 20 seconds. Burz's Glass Mace Burz's Glass Mace can be acquired by pickpocketing Burz Grow Cash, the leader of the Shaden Hall Fighters Guild while he sleeps. It is a one-handed mace, has a durability of 460, a value of 750 gold, deals 20 base damage, but does not have any enchantments. Hatred's Heart Hatred's Heart can be acquired via exploring the Oblivion Gate that is opened outside of Coral after completing Dagon Shrine. It is a one-handed mace, has a durability of 672, a value of 5146 gold, deals 24 base damage, and has the enchantments of Drain Speed for 30 points for 45 seconds, and Fire Damage for 35 points. Rock Shatter Rock Shatter can be acquired by looting Bjolfi during the quest of When the Vow Breaks. It is a one-handed mace, has a durability of 672, a value of 4,517 gold, deals 24 base damage, and has the enchantments of shock damage for 20 points, and weakness to shock for 35% for 20 seconds. Hatred's Soul Hatred's Soul can also be acquired by exploring the Oblivion Gate that is opened outside of Coral after completing Dagon Shrine. It is a bow, has a durability of 600, a value of 5146 gold, and deals 24 base damage. It has the enchantments of Drain Speed for 30 points for 45 seconds, and Fire Damage for 35 points. Shadow Hunt Shadow Hunt can be acquired as a reward to the player for completing the bonus task during the Dark Brotherhood quest of the Lonely Wanderer. It is a bow, has a durability of 100, a value of 3,678 gold, and deals 10 base damage. It has the enchantments of Drain Health and Magicka for 20 points, Turn Undead up to level 32, and a weakness to poison for 20%. Mankar Cameron's Staff Mankar Cameron's Staff can be acquired by looting his body during the main quest of Paradise. It has 161 charged uses, a durability of 200, a gold value of 2,112, deals 7 points of shock damage as well as disintegrate armor for 10 points. Staff of Indaris The Staff of Indaris can be acquired as a reward to the player at the end of the Wayward Knight quest. It has 30 charged uses, a durability of 100, a value of 3920 gold, and deals 70 points of shock damage as well as 10 points of damage strength. Staff of Nanalata the Staff of Nanalata can be acquired during the quest Secrets of the Alien Ruins and is found on the body of the King of Nanalata. It has a charge of 17 uses, a durability of 20, a value of 692 gold, and has the enchantments of Drain Willpower for 10 points and Dispel for 50 points. Akaviri Sunderblade The Akaviri Sunderblade can be acquired by purchasing it at the Three Brothers Trade Goods in the Imperial City Market District. It is a one-handed Akaviri blade, has a durability of 350, a value of 2,780 gold, deals 15 base damage, and has enchantments of disintegrate weapons and armor for 100 points. Boris's Akaviri Katana Boris's Akaviri Katana could be acquired by looting his body if he dies at all during the main quest line. It is a one-handed Akaviri blade, has a durability of 240, there is no value in gold, and deals 15 damage. It also has no enchantments. Brusef Emelian Sword Brusef Emelian Sword can be acquired while plundering the Emelian's family tomb during Emelian's debt quest. It is a one-handed longsword, has a durability of 250, a value of 327 gold, deals 14 damage, and has an enchantment of frost damage for 5 points. Salia's Steel Longsword Salia's Steel Longsword can be acquired by picking it up from a tombstone at Apple Watch after the Dark Brotherhood quest is completed, next of kin. It is a one-handed longsword, has a durability of 192, a value of 45 gold, deals 12 base damage, and has no enchantments. Captain Corden's Saber Captain Corden's Saber can be acquired by purchasing it from Tertia Vedusia at the March Rider in Shadenhall. It is a one-handed cutlass, has a durability of 180, a value of 3740 gold, deals 15 damage, and has enchantments of Absorb Agility, Endurance, and Blade for 10 points for 30 seconds. Dagger of Discipline 
The Dagger of Discipline can be acquired by defeating the Wraith of Sithis after the player has been exiled from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a one-handed dagger, has a durability of 70, a value of 0 gold, deals 9 damage, and has the enchantment of Drain Health for 15 points for 6 seconds. Honor Blade of Coral The Honor Blade of Coral can be acquired by looting the body of the Ogre Chieftain during the quest Sins from the Father. There are ways, however, to steal the blade back and keep it for yourself, as it is turned in for a quest item. It is a one-handed longsword, has an overall durability of 610, can be sold for 1000 gold, deals 23 damage, and has no enchantments. Akaviri Warblade The Akaviri Warblade can be acquired by purchasing it at Jensen's Good as New Merchandise in the Imperial City Market District. It is a two-handed Akaviri blade, has an overall durability of 240, a value of 3,236 gold, deals 16 damage, and has enchantments of damage fatigue and magicka for 30 points, as well as damage health for 15 points. Sinweaver Sinweaver can be acquired by looting Azani Blackheart during the Fighter's Guild quest of Azani Blackheart. It is a two-handed claymore, has an overall durability of 500, a value of 1,150 gold, deals 21 base damage, and has enchantments of drain fatigue and fire damage for 10 points. Caliban's Grim Retort Caliban's Grim Retort can be acquired during the quest Unfriendly Competition in the Trentius Family Mausoleum hidden behind one of the crypts. It is a one-handed mace, has an overall durability of 396, a value of 2,879 gold, deals 18 damage, and has enchantments of Absorb Strength for 5 points, Absorb Blunt for 8 points, both for 20 seconds, and Frost Damage for 10 points. Truncheon of Submission The Truncheon of Submission can be acquired by purchasing it from Varel Morverin at Morverin's Peacekeepers in Anvil. It is a one-handed club, has an overall durability of 200, a value of 3,076 gold, deals 10 base damage, and has enchantments of damage fatigue for 50 points, and restore health for 20 points. Battle Axe of Hatred The Battle Axe of Hatred can be purchased from Roseanne at a fighting chance in the Imperial City Market District. It is a two-handed battle axe, has an overall durability of 300, a value of 7,440 gold, deals 10 base damage, and has enchantments of damage strength, willpower, and endurance for 5 points. Destarin's Cleaver Destarin's Cleaver can be acquired by purchasing it from Tunzius at the Dividing Line in Leowin. It is a two-handed battle axe, has an overall durability of 350, a value of 3,630 gold, deals 15 damage, and has enchantments of damage strength and endurance for 5 points. Perdition's Wrath Perdition's Wrath can be acquired by purchasing it from Mirage Dar from the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary in Shadenhall. It is a two-handed battle axe, has an overall durability of 400, a value of 3,304 gold, deals 18 base damage, and has an enchantment of fire damage for 20 points and 50 feet. Bow of Infliction The Bow of Infliction can be acquired by purchasing it from Dynelin at the Archer's Paradox in Breville. It is a bow, has an overall durability of 364, a value of 5,240 gold, deals 18 base damage, and has enchantments of damage agility for 5 points, and drain marksman for 15 points for 60 seconds. Bow of Internal Frost The Bow of Internal Frost can be acquired by also purchasing it from Mirage Dar at the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary in Shadenhall. It is a bow, has an overall durability of 100, a value of 7,091 gold, deals 8 base damage, and has enchantments of fire and frost damage for 10 points. Frostworm Bow Frostworm Bow can be acquired by defeating and looting the Uderfricht Matron near Dive Rock. It is a bow, has a durability of 300, a value of 709 gold, deals 15 damage, and has an enchantment of frost damage for 15 points. Ebony Blade The Ebony Blade can be acquired by completing Mephala's Daedric Shrine quest. It is a one-handed katana, has a durability of 800, a value of 6,512 gold, deals 23 damage, and has enchantments of absorb health for 8 points and silence for 10 seconds. Goldbrand Goldbrand can be acquired by completing Boethia's Daedric Shrine quest. 
It is a one-handed katana, has a durability of 900, a value of 6,615 gold, deals 25 damage, and has an enchantment of fire damage for 22 points. Mace of Molag Ball The Mace of Molag Ball can be acquired by completing Molag Ball's Daedric Shrine Quest. It is a one-handed mace, has a durability of 1,500, a value of 4,900 gold, deals 25 damage, and has enchantments of Absorb Strength and Magicka for 5 points. Rugdump Sword Rugdump Sword can be acquired after completing the quest The Noble's Daughter and is given to the player as a reward. It is a two-handed sword, has a durability of 700, a value of 740 gold, deals 14 base damage, and has enchantments of Absorb Speechcraft for 5 points for 5 seconds, and Silence for 5 seconds. Umbra Umbra can be acquired by slaying its wielder who is located in the Aeliad Ruin of Vindicel. It is a one-handed longsword, has a durability of 700, a value of 5,508 gold, deals 28 base damage, and has an enchantment of Soul Trap for 120 seconds. Volendrung Volendrung can be acquired as a reward for completing Malakath's Daedric Shrine Quest. It is a two-handed warhammer, has a durability of 3,200, a value of 5,362 gold, deals 20 damage, and has enchantments of Drain Health for 5 points for 20 seconds, and Paralyze for 3 seconds. Sanguine Rose Sanguine Rose is acquired by completing Sanguine's Daedric Shrine Quest and is given to the player as a reward. It has 10 charged uses, has a durability of 100, a value of 1330 gold, and casts a summoning spell for any type of Daedra to aid the player in battle for 20 seconds. Hrormir's Ice Staff Hrormir's Ice Staff can be acquired after completing the Thieves Guild quest of Misdirection. It appears as a quest item, but can be looted again afterwards. It has 10 charged uses, a durability of 30, a value of 1,239 gold, has the enchantments of frost damage for 10 points in 30 feet, light for 30 feet for 30 seconds, and 1% chameleon for 30 seconds. Skull of Corruption The Skull of Corruption can be acquired by completing Vermina's Shrine Quest and is given to the player as a reward. It is a staff, has 20 charged uses, a durability of 100, a value of 1,270 gold, and has the enchantment titled Corruption. Corruption creates a clone of the target that is hostile towards the target. Staff of Worms The Staff of Worms can be acquired by defeating and looting Mana Marco's body at the end of the Mage's Guild quest titled Confront the King. It is a staff, has a charge of 227 uses, a durability of 100, a value of 0 gold, and has the enchantment of reanimating a corpse to aid you in battle for 30 seconds. And the last entry on this list is the Wabajack. The Wabajack can be acquired by completing Sheogorath's Daedric Shrine Quest. It is a staff, has a charge of 10 uses, a durability of 100, a value of 1,330 gold, and has the enchantment to turn any non-NPC creature into a random creature for 10 seconds. Thus concludes the list of unique one-off items that the player can acquire and keep in the base game of Oblivion. If there are any weapons that I missed from this list, be sure to add them down below, and until next time, keep on adventuring.